Now, Deepak Raj Gupta has become the first Indian Australian member of Australia's Legislative Assembly. He took oath with a copy of the Indian scripture Bhagavad Gita in his hands, hailing from Chandigarh in India. Gupta went to Australia to study information technology in 1989 and was granted a permanent residency status in the year 1991. He was a runner-up in the elections held in 2016 for Gungahlin constituency, which is the fourth town of Canberra, the capital. Since the winner, who was from the same party, resigned recently, Gupta was nominated for the parliament as per norms. And in a big way on exclusive, we have Mr. Deepak Raj Gupta joining us to speak about his decision to take oath with the copy of Bhagavad Gita. Mr. Gupta, thank you so much for taking time out of this year on Rion World is One. Tell us, first up, why did you choose the Bhagavad Gita while taking the oath of your office in Australia. Uh, thank you so much, first of all, having me on your channel. I really appreciate it. Um, what it is, is that considering I've, I've come from India and I represent a lot of people in here in my electorate who are from Hindu background, and uh, it was something unique because it never happened before. And me being a Hindu, I thought it would be good if I can take oath on Gita. So. That's the reason um, the Chief Justice uh, allowed me to take oath on Gita. And I think I was very happy and felt very proud. That's right. Uh, usually I very use it's the affirmation with other on Queen or on the Bible. So I said, well, considering I'm a Hindu, I will really appreciate if I've been given an opportunity to take oath on Gita. All right. All right, Mr. Gupta, as a lawmaker of Indian origin, tell us what are the challenges for migrants, Indians in particular, that you see and how do you propose to address all of them? See, so, yeah, I mean, it, it is a struggle coming from uh, um, your own country to a totally different country. It is a bit of a struggle. I would advise that people who are planning to migrate to anywhere in the world, first of all, they should really uh, do their homework well that, you know, what they are going to face because usually pe people give you a lot of rosy pictures about uh, overseas. But it's not the same. It's, it's pretty hard to get settled, considering you're coming from a different environment to a totally a new environment. I would say, first of all, you should uh, have a proper skills uh, to come and settle here. So that way, it will be easy for you to find a job. It will be easy to work on a profession, what you know, and you'll enjoy it. What, what we see is people with high degrees or with other degrees, they come here, but they don't fit into the system. And that's the big frustration, frustration they have. When you come here, you should have done your homework. That this is what I'm going to do. There'll be challenges along the way, and you should be ready to, to take those challenges. Now, Mr. Gupta, there are restrictions which have come over the period for aspiring Indians who migrate to Australia to fulfill their aspirations. Do you have a plan to address that? Um, see, the thing is that it is a, a one-step journey, I would say. I, I just didn't uh, pop out, popped out or parachuted to politics scene just like that. I really had to work hard for it. I had to first really work with the community to understand what is, what is their requirements, how to get, get connected to the grassroots people. So this is, this is um, uh, incremental changes what happens from... All right. All right, I'm afraid we've completely run out of time here, but Mr. Deepak Raj Gupta, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us here on We On World Is One.